I can now connect to the server and in my example the IP address is 192.168.1.245. I'm going to log in with the default username and password which is UWM admin password. So UWM admin and my password which is password and I can click login. Now we're told that there's a problem with the licensing on the server. What we need to do is upload a license to the server and we do that by clicking on viral server salt configuration and status. This interface takes a while to refresh. That's normal. So just expect the initial connection to this interface to take a while. You simply need to wait for it to complete. Now we can see that there are issues on the server. It also contains some dummy public keys. What we're going to do is click Reset Keys and IDs. I then have to paste in my key, which I get from Viral. So back on the Viral website, I'm going to click License File to download my license file. On this page, you need to load your config file, which is the license file that you downloaded from Cisco, and then load it to the Viral server. Leave the salt ID and domain as the name of the file that you received without the PEM or PEM extension. So in my example, it looks like that. So I'm going to leave that at the default. I'm going to specify my email address, and then I need to specify a list of viral servers. Now this is really important. If any of those servers are unreachable, you're going to have problems licensing your viral server. You don't need all of them. What I did here is click US. You could specify EU or AP, but I'm going to specify US for my licensing. And this is the list of servers that is populated in that text box. However, there are problems with some of these servers. So what I'll do is log back in to the CLI. So this is the viral Ubuntu prompt. And what I suggest you do before you do anything else is verify that the servers are reachable. So that server is reachable, so that's good. That one, however, is not reachable. That's gonna cause you problems. So we don't wanna have the server in the list of servers that we're using for verification. What about 53? That's available, so that's good. 54 is available, so that's good. So very important step. Make sure that you remove any of the servers that are not reachable. Only have reachable servers in the list of Cisco Salt Masters before you click Reset. Otherwise, you're gonna have problems. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna click Reset. This process will take a while, but after a while you should see a bunch of green messages indicating that you've successfully made contact with the Salt Master and your licensing has been verified. I can't stress enough the importance of making sure that any servers that you are verifying against are reachable. If you leave this server in the list, it's gonna fail and you're gonna have constant problems with your licensing. Make sure that the servers are reachable. This is what you'll see when the license has been correctly verified. We can see a bunch of green messages, which is great. Notice minion keys have been replaced, install configuration edited, current licensing state removed. Scroll all the way down, license renewal performed, available software versions reset, available software versions loaded. You wanna make sure that all the messages are green. If they're not, click check status now to re-verify your license. We can see current status, last successful contact was today. Contact with Salt Master required in seven days. 
that means that you can take your viral server offline for a few days. So if you need to work offline, not connected to the internet, you can do that for a few days, but I'll need to verify back with the Salt Master in seven days. I'm allowed 20 nodes, so that's the maximum number of routers or switches that I can have in a topology. Last attempted contact was at this date and time. It was successful. Notice I was able to connect to VSM dash us dash 51 dot viral dot info. My configuration information is shown here. And my keys have been updated on the viral system. Thank you.